talk about the co-main event, which I was very excited for and didn't quite deliver on my end, but Kevin Holland versus Jack Della Maddalena. Jack Della Maddalena. I heard someone call him JDM, which yeah, I thought. JDM. I really liked. Yeah, I like that. I thought he did enough to win. I thought he looked impressive, but at the same time, it just wasn't stylistically the fun fight I thought we were going to get. Maybe round one was, uh, but after that, Jack just looked like a better striker, but not somebody who was going to be able to put Holland away. So it just kind of, it didn't really click from there. I think Holland should have made an attempt to grapple more, you know, as a fan just watching this. And I thought there was a couple of brief times he wasn't able to take him down, but if he had kept him guessing, maybe we could have switched it up. And I thought that's where Holland was really going to possibly shine in this with his mixed attack. And we didn't see that kind of gave me kind of, Wonder Boy Thompson vibes again. Obviously, you know, he broke his hand, but it's still like I thought, you know, you're playing into your opponent's game a little more. In the end, though, good win for JDM. Keeps him relevant just because I love to pick fights after sometimes some of these bigger fights for him. Assuming health is okay, I don't know. I think Jeff Neal would be an excellent fight for JDM on his way up. Yeah, that's a great fight. I'd love to see that one. Going back to this fight, though, yeah, the first round was good, but the rest of the fight mostly looked like a sparring match. Um, and I think you credit that to JDM's, his solid defense. You know, he just was very disciplined with his footwork and his distance management and his guard. He just kept his hands up, you know, under his chin the entire fight. Thompson, or I'm sorry, Holland when he did land, he was always landing on the hands. You know, he could never land a really clean shot on Jack. So, you know, credit that to Jack, too. And then same thing with Holland. You know, he was doing that, uh, like, leaning back, sort of like Strickland, the Philly Shell-esque mm-hmm. kind of thing. He, he leans way back and protects his chin with his shoulder. But Jack was just kind of rushing in. So he was landing, uh, he was landing on his body. He landed, you know, those three, four punch combos. He would land the, the end of them on, on Holland's chin. So Holland's a very exciting fighter, but I think he needs to determine whether he really wants to make a shot for a world championship or if he just wants to be a an exciting fighter, like, like a Cowboy Cerrone sort of thing. Because, yeah, striking is a, is exciting but he has this other skill set he's a black belt uh right. bjj under travis Luter, so he has the skills on the ground you know wrestling is the weak part of his game so getting it to the ground but when if he can you know chain it together and get it to the ground he's very dangerous especially with those super long limbs you know i can just imagine him locking up so many darces with those super long arms. So like you were saying, if he can just be a threat in those situations, you know, get opponents thinking that he may take it to the ground or he's going for something on the ground that will present opportunities on the feet. So if he just wants to be an exciting fighter or fan favorite, I mean, that's definitely a way to collect paychecks for sure. So just go ahead and strike. But if you're actually looking to win fights, you know, you got to mix in a little bit of grappling, especially when you're as talented as he is. So hope he does that going forward. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't disagree with any of that. He definitely feels like he could be using more tools that he has. And it does feel I get a Cowboy Cerrone vibe from him. And I always have. And hey, Cowboy Cerrone made a ton of money. Yeah. But you want to be, you know, you could be a champion possibly too. You know, I don't know. I think he definitely should think about doing that though. 